Okay, episode 227. Ooh. Who are these new characters? Sket Dance? Oh, I think I've heard Sket Dance before. That, um, I think one of, uh, it was, someone told me from the comments before that, um, an assistant of Sorachi also made some kind of an anime or a manga that is also somewhat, I guess, inspired from Gintama. So maybe this is just like a, maybe, um, a cameo of them. I guess this might be just the only first part. But, but that's really cool that <laughs> um, they've shown that. Uh, I guess those are the char characters from Sket Dance, and I'm really interested in trying to check it, checking it out. Maybe after, um, maybe after this, or maybe after Gintama. So I'm assuming it's maybe it's also somewhat has a lot of fourth wall breaking com uh, jokes, because I think um, I knew Gintama from watching Psyche Kuso, because I think they've also some did some kind of cameo of of Gintama there. Speaking of crossover, so it is it is a crossover. Don't forget about Alien vs. Sket <laughs> dance. Yeah, I think this is the first time they're doing a crossover. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not really much of a <laughs> crossover. Yeah, <laughs> without permission. <laughs> Man, they're really bold enough to do that. It's going to be a competition. A comedy manga school setting. Oh. <laughs> Man. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's the same for almost every anime, every manga that they really need to compete uh, I guess with the popularity The characters have more personality. Oh no, Shinpachi. <laughs> She's still a girl. <laughs> I guess also Naruto had the goggles at the beginning. You saw me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> one piece <story> ko. <laughs> Man, the comparison. 
<laughs> Why did jump bother? This voice actor sounds familiar. Oh, the cat dance characters. She kind of looks like um That's cool, yeah. Well, this character, <laughs> this character, somewhat looks similar with Hijikata. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and he seems like the sh the Shinpachi within <laughs> with the group. Oh yeah, that's the <laughs> they're the similar voice actor. Oh, who's that? I think that's guy from the from Digimon. Oh, the the monkey. Oh, <laughs> man, there's been. <laughs> that name. <laughs> so she's the voice actor of the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has the same voice actor as Gin. I just realized. And I think among the three, he's the most interesting <laughs> with the computer. Oh, he sounds like um also um Mike uh present Mike. <laughs> Your mom <my> character. <laughs> It's really cool that uh, they're doing crossover for the first time. Oh. Impact. Ooh, what is this place? <laughs> That's a radio stretch. <laughs> <laughs> One of the devil. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man, they're really, they're really pushing.
pushing to making fun of that. Pizzazz? What's pizzazz? <laughs> Flashing is worthy. That's a straight man. I guess she's like the straight. Wonder if if uh, Sket does is just like a uh, an ordinary school or more like a reality based kind of setting compared to Gintama. <laughs> AKB <laughs> man. And they gave up on them. <laughs> Man, the the struggle for personality and the I guess signature moves. All these callbacks is so cool. I guess Gintama has been doing it a lot of times. But it's really cool that they're doing it side by side, side by side with another anime. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but it's really cool that they're also somewhat giving ideas towards, I guess, aspiring writers of, uh, of manga or anime.
But the the the, the amazing thing is Gintama is a mainstream anime, and without I guess just doing random. But I guess uh, Gintama has developed a lot of amazing arcs and main stories that it could follow through, even though it hasn't the same thing with One Piece and other anime. Man, but it's really cool that <laughs> they're just blurting out the I guess the references outright without even changing the words because I think other anime some other parody anime somewhat um, change the things even they're even though they're just doing a parody Man, but <laughs> they're really blatant about it <laughs> now he respects him. Who's Rao? I guess at the same time, I think um, gag anime is the only possible crossover that also Gintama could do because uh, One Piece and other anime is, are somewhat more on a serious tone and yeah, I guess <laughs> I don't think how they will be able to, um, I guess, coexist with these guys. <laughs> Well, it would be cool if they would eventually do that. But I think it's also somewhat a struggle for other gag anime, especially if Gintama has been around for a long time. And I can, I, maybe that's really impressive, especially for Sket Dance. <laughs> so I'm really curious to know what the premise of Sket Dance is for them to be able to, I guess, become famous or interesting and be able to, I guess be side by side with Gintama because in terms of gag or yeah and gag genre or shonen genre Gintama is up there to w with with One Piece and other shonen so it would be really hard for other new coming up new coming manga or anime Oh, <laughs> they're going to give it to him. But I mailed it. <laughs> Man. <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man. Oh. <laughs> Man, I just love how ridiculous it is. <laughs> Man. Oh. <laughs> what happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the 
they were aiming to be like that. <laughs> Man, Gintama is nothing but boring. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and how with how crazy it is, I don't <laughs> think you would ever they they ever run out of uh, crazy ideas. So yeah, I'm really interested in seeing a skit dance, especially that I think they're somewhat hyping up how <laughs> what happened to this. Th <laughs> oh, <laughs> some of the juice. <laughs> That's a, a nice crossover, first cross crossover of Gintama, and I guess with another gag anime. And someone told me before from the comments that Sket Dance is like um, made by an assistant of Sorachi, um, who also created a manga that is somewhat inspired by Gintama. So that is really cool, and also amazing that he was able to. Um, to I guess be side by side by side with Gintama, knowing especially ha looking how far has Gintama has already reached at this point. So Gintama is, is already the the One Piece, the the Bleach of gag anime of co comedy anime, and I think um, for Skate Dance to be able to I guess have I guess one of the other purposes of doing a crossover is also to um, it's like a collaboration of supporting the another. Especially if if Sorachi's assistant has been really close with uh, Sorachi, I think, because I think they also did it first in the manga, and that's why they also adapted it to the anime. So, yeah, I think the you could also see the the I guess their their relationship as authors at the same time. So, which is really cool, and uh, I'm I'm really interested in checking out Skat Dance, and especially. Um, after learning that Gintama has already ended in terms of manga or anime so uh, it would be a great um, thing to be able to I guess to to fall back to in case uh, once I finish Gintama so yeah uh, <laughs> uh, this episode is nothing but uh, crazy and I guess more about introduction of this um, skate dance so I guess maybe to, peop to people who doesn't know about skate dance yet just just like me and also with regards to <coughs> callbacks to other crossover as well with One Piece and Toriko and I haven't watched it that yet as well so but yeah I, I think it would be uh, an interesting interesting episode for other animes to collaborate especially if you maybe especially I think it's more enjoyable if you're a fan of those two animes that are doing a crossover so but yeah too bad i haven't watched sket dance yet and yeah and they also did a lot of parodies and this I guess, I guess they mainly parodied one piece <laughs> at this episode so yeah i would be re really interested in seeing more uh, other cross possible crossover hopefully psyche because i think uh uh i've learned gintama about psyche Psyche Kuso, because that's where I've seen the um, Gintam had a, some kind of parody there, and yeah, um, that would be interesting. And especially, um, I think the, the only possible um, anime that could be able to do crossover with Gintam are the ones that are breaking the fourth wall that are, um, um, how, do, how do you say this? The um characters that are aware of that there are <laughs> they are anime characters within a, a television or an anime so uh, what was the word for that um 
forgot the word but yeah so yeah there's nothing really that much of <coughs> I guess I guess they can't really do anything major especially with crossover it's more like um, like uh, just a fun thing for how what will happen if these two characters um, interact with each other or be in the same, same world so yeah but too bad I have no idea what who these characters are from Sket Dance I've only heard about them I've only seen I guess I've checked out the um, I think that I've only seen the cover or, or of the of the Sket Dance and I forgot about the premise but it seems like from what they've said from the beginning of this episode it's like an Ayorozuya within a school so it's more like I guess more like realistic kind of setting where um, these students are like the Gintamas the, the the Yorozuya within a high school setting or something like that which is really interesting and I think they could also do a lot of things with that and uh, yeah because Gintama is in a whole to totally different world with Amantos and and I think um, it's cool with that premise but I think what really made me <coughs> fall in love with Gintama a lot more is with the serious arcs that they've been able to um, create and stories that we've seen and I guess they also had some um, heartwarming emotional episodes episodic stories and unique unique situations that they could do they they the creativity is endless and but my m the f my the ones that i really love are the ones that are more s i guess more s more focused on the characters there's backstories um their character developments i think that's also one of the things that uh with other animes as well so yeah maybe maybe um i guess being an assistant of Asorachi, eventually I think they'd be able to also pick up a lot of things and, and I think it would also get an editor with regards to that getting an advice so yeah I'm really curious to see what Sketans has to offer and uh, and it would be a really hard challenge and I guess especially if you if you came from Gintama and then you're going from I guess another anime that has some uh, kind of inspiration from Gintama and especially if it's going to be like a direct copy i think it would be a big challenge to be interesting and unique enough to be somewhat um distinguished from gintama so yeah so those are pretty much my thoughts in this episode and i guess with regards to sket dance and i still really have no idea what uh, i guess with regards to the characters and how they they started so so it's not really much of a spoiler about them so um so yeah i think uh, it's a cool introduction about this different anime that has i guess similar traits of kintama so i guess the thing that would really <coughs> differentiate with that if they're doing the yorozuya type is the backstory of kintoki i think that's one of my favorite things with the Gintam and also the lore of the Shinsengumi, the lore of the Amantos, the Yato clan. So I, I think that would be the main thing that they. W I wonder what they will be able to fill up with that kind of thing. So or it's just going to be plain comedy, um, or adventures within the school and how they be able to, um, I guess incorporate the Yorozuya thing, at the odd jobs thing in that school so yeah if you would like to share your thoughts in this episode just leave your comments down below and if you think i have missed some details or maybe things that i've noticed i might be wrong so I, I would really appreciate it if you'd let me know and if you did enjoy watching my reaction please leave a like and subscribe if this is your first time here so you'll be updated whenever i upload my reaction videos to gintama and other anime reactions that i've been doing and if you want to watch my reaction to the next episode, it's also, it is also now available on my Patreon. Just go to the link in the description down below and it will really help support this channel and help me create more reaction videos like this in the future. So please feel, feel free to check it out and it will really help me a lot. And uh, thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.